Hello fellow collectors, Todd's back. Right, hello. Uh, this is a video of two grails I've been wanting for some time. Um, this is not so much a review of my two grails, one being a Hot Toys, which you can actually see in front of you, and the other one being a TB League figure. Um, this is more or less what I have planned for them now they're in my uh, possession. Now this one, um, if you want to see a proper review on this um, Jet Patrol double pack, which I'm really happy to get, um, if you want to see a proper review, go to, I will leave the link in the description to the actual video of TK471 Collectibles and the uh, look on his face when he receives his because it was a growl to him is priceless so but uh, like i said i'll leave a link if you want to see the video on this review on this packet but what have i got planned um well with this itself um this i found this is why to hold on until you find the right one this is absolutely brand new um, it still had all the wraps, still had all the felt, the plastic bits, all in between. And it ended up being the cheapest on eBay, believe it or not. Um, it started off at 700 and it dropped down to 630 um, I think everybody else was waiting until they got paid. Now, my job is brilliant. It is low pay. It's not a great job. But the one good thing I can say about the company is I do get paid a good few days earlier than anyone else. So I knew if it was going to be there and thereabouts when I got paid, I was going to get it. So 6.30 um, and when I paid for it, I paid for it on a Friday morning and I got it next day. Um, guaranteed delivery before one and uh, it became just after 11 o'clock. So here it is, and I am so excited to get this more than my double stormtrooper because this is the one I wanted. So, um, without further ado, anyway, let's have a look at the figures. And here they are. I'm very happy to get these. Absolutely. Um, now, what I have planned for these. Um, I know it's from a different film. This is a Jetta Patrol pack from... Uh... That's nice. Sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> That's my feed for you. Can never predict it. Right, um, as I was saying, what I, I have a plan. I've got the two Sand Troopers. One a Hot Toys, one a Sideshow. Also coming from the good, the bad and the robots, I have the Sand Trooper Sergeant with the Dewback. And I'm going to put them all in one display. I know these actually come from Rogue One and the other one comes from the New Hope. I know that, but I've never been one for film accuracy as you might have seen in some of my um, other displays. So... What I want to do, and it's going to be a one-off, um, but I have to wait until I get the Jew back with the sergeant. Um, I want to take measurements of that, and then I'm going to build myself my own diorama, uh, a sand dune diorama, and putting all these figures inside. I do have a pack coming from uh, for this one. Um, a sand trooper pack uh, which I've just ordered today so that should be coming through in the next few days and I'm really happy for that um, and then but I once I've got all the measurements then I can get in touch with James at immortal cases and displays and make me a display for it and I will be making the diorama on this channel it's just hope I'll get it right. If I don't get it right, and then I can always fall back on my mate, uh, Steve at IC Custom to uh, do one properly for me. But um, I shouldn't have a problem. But uh, I absolutely love this pack. Absolutely fantastic. Now, to show my dedication that I was going to be making for this, I actually even ordered some of these Hasbo ones. I've got about four of them. They came in one pack. Um two orange one black one white 
and they're going to be in the background so it looks like they're, they're in the far distance and everything else so it might work it might not if it doesn't work no loss there these didn't cost a lot of money anyway but i'm really happy to get these now absolutely stunning pieces it was really um the ones i really wanted out of um out of the uh star wars line um though i must admit um i'm always a great love of darth maul yes i probably will be getting the new one that's just been uh, announced um right so what is the um what is the other um grail that i got let's just have a look and here it is you probably see from the title anyway it is cleopatra um now this i i can't express enough how hard it is to get this one this one i've been looking for for years um this figure is about four or five years old anyway um so it's really hard to get um, she probably only came out when she was up for uh, first sale about 130 quid no probably no more um, but if you wanted to get one of these um, if you do find one on eBay it's normally from Asia and they're asking anywhere between five to eight hundred pound for this figure it's not worth anywhere near those prices she's quite basic um, but because a lot more people are getting into the Egyptian um, pharaohs and gods, um, this one seems to be a bit of a must, and uh, Naphrodite as well. Um, she's going up in price. They don't really come with a lot, but um, I mean, there's one on eBay at the moment at 400 with a hundred pound shipping. That's 500 pound. Now this one um, was a guy selling in England and uh he had it up for bidding um a few more people started looking at it and i actually won it for 200 pound i think the guy that's had it and sold it was a little bit peed off because um the rarity of her now is unbelievable um and i'm I've, like i said i've been looking for this for years if we all want to collect the TB League figures of the gods and pharaohs, then you've got to have a clear battery, haven't you? So um, let's have a look at her. And here she is. Um, now she does come with a few other bits, um, which I'll probably do a quick review on her actually, because I'll tell you what, there's only two videos out on YouTube of this Cleopatra. Um, and I'm quite surprised and it gets thousands of views. Um, it's because nobody else has done it. Um, she, like I said, she's quite basic in this. This is more or less everything she gets except for um her royal um post that she holds in her hands a bit like Tutankhamun um but yeah um I got it it came through and I was so happy I like I said I've been looking for her for years so really um if this isn't the review on her so what have I got planned for my TB League figures Right, okay, I've got another one coming tomorrow as well. Um, but I've got a big, big plan. Now, I was actually on Facebook the other day. And um, there was a guy on there on Facebook called Mario Wagner. Um, and he showed all his in a display cabinet and was asking really if anyone's got any ideas of proper displays you know like backdrops or bits of diorama and everything and i tried to give him a little bit of advice but uh and he said oh you know he said um i've followed you he said you're my inspiration for buying these and everything else which i thought was nice but the thing is he gave me inspiration um knowing that my uh gods and pharaohs need a proper proper display so 
what I'm going to do, um, you probably know the um, display I've got for my Avengers and my quarter scale Ironmans. I'm looking probably to get rid of those big displays <clears throat> and put in one massive one and then put all my Pharaohs inside. And um, just, I'm even buying little Egypt um, artifacts and statues to go in there as well. Uh, some of them actually came today. Um, just to mention, you know, something like that that I can hold and even have that. Just little things that are coming through. I've got a few more as well. Um, but it just, it adds to, adds to the flavour. But what I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to call it the Mario Project. Because I really want to look after these figures. Because they really do stand out. And believe it or not, these figures now are starting to come go up in price. The reason being, is because a lot more people are getting into it. Um, I've got another TB um, Egyptian god goddess coming tomorrow anyway. But uh, this... This, um, I've been looking for this one for ages, but I will do a proper review on this one because um, she deserves it, um, which I wasn't, but uh, I will do one. Okay, so tomorrow, what have I got coming tomorrow? I've just received this, which is the Sideshow, the Outlaw, Josie Wales, now, I didn't have him on pre-order and I thought I'd missed out on him. These figures now, these Sideshow um, Clint Eastwood collection figures, boy, are they going up in price. They're going for ridiculous amounts of money. Now, obviously, I had, I've got the Preacher, which I had on pre-order with 1.6 kit. Um, I did buy the Blondie on eBay. And I bought this one on eBay um, from A1 Toys up in Glasgow. They had it at the cheapest price, brand new. Um, but some of these now, if you look on eBay, they are going for over £400. It's ridiculous. I mean, I paid just over 300 for this. This is, this is just stupid. Um, but they're only going to go up and up. I have got on pre-order with 1.6 kit, William Money from Unforgiven. And they're the only ones I want. I don't want any of the Harry Callahans, And I'm not going to get the statues. Um, so I'm just going to get the four. But they are going well up in price. So I will do a my thoughts review on this figure tomorrow. Um, so uh, it's this one to uh, look out for. And at the same time, I will do a review on Cleopatra. Um, but she probably won't be released until in the week itself. Because um, I want to do a proper showing all the faults and, um, you know, and the good points of her. I mean, she is, it's, she does stand out. When I put her right in front of the whole crowd and she stands out. So uh, it's worth getting. If you can find one. Now, I, I wouldn't be surprised if TB League redo a Cleopatra at some point. I know they did one called Cleo, which comes from a comic, but she had blonde hair and everything. It looked, well, to me, I was not interested. It, it looked crap. But um, she did have a really nice um, throne and two jackal um, statues standing beside her. So... Uh, that point yeah those were nice and if you can get them on their own it'd be all right okay so uh this wraps it up for this one my two grails this one i've been looking for over two years and the uh hot toys jet patrol pack i've been looking for for about a year so now i'm really pleased i have got um a few more coming in the next few weeks i'll probably get two figures tomorrow um, but I've got uh, a figure coming in a couple of weeks and there's still the Riddler to come. He's coming from the third batch apparently. So I'll probably get that at the end of May or beginning of June. So I still haven't got him yet. But uh, yeah, so uh, 
Well, let me know if you've got Cleopatra or if you've got the Jet Patrol pack and what you think of them. Um, but I am over the moon to get them and at a, a really good price as well. So it does pay to wait and wait and wait until you find what you want and at a good price. Okay then. Right, this is Todd's out and um, I'll see you tomorrow with Josie Wales. Thanks very much.